Hi, I'm Mercedes. Here I have a sample with DNA fragments in it. I want to find out if my gene of interest is in it. So I'm going to use the southern blood. To do so, I have to first separate the DNA fragments by their size on a gel electrophoresis. How a gel electrophoresis works, I've already explained in the film Gel Electrophoresis. So this is what I've done here. And now, I've separated the DNA fragments by their size on the gel. But in order to detect them, I have to transfer them to a foil. So I'm going to put the gel on this paper. I'm going to put a foil on top of it. It's very important that there are no air bubbles between them. Now I'm going to put some more paper on top and a lot of paper on top of that with some weight. In this box, there is a liquid with lots of salt in it. And the paper is going to soak this liquid through the gel to the foil, taking with it the DNA fragments. So this runs overnight. And then at the end, I have a foil like this one, where the DNA fragments are already on it, but we cannot see them. In order to see them, I use a trick similar to film development, where I'm going to put this membrane in a liquid that contains a special component, the, what we call the probe. This probe binds very specifically to my gene of interest, and it's very easy to be detected. So that's what I've done here, and you can see every band represents my gene of interest, and that's a southern blood. <laughs>